isn't it uh, a bit feeble just to say that somebody argues in a way you can't deal with, that he's slippery and so forth? I mean, you ought to be able to deal with his arguments, oughtn't you, if you, if you, if you think he's wrong? They can be dealt with, but the format in which these confrontations occur is not the format in which they are best dealt with. I mean, if someone makes an argument that is superficially plausible, but really you need to go 15 or 20 steps back in the reasoning to take it on, you can't really do that in the constraints of the format, especially the one-on-one -on -one debating format. You need to do it in a more thoughtful way at length. And so if you go online at the various blogs that review this guy and his performances, you'll find that his arguments are beautifully refuted, but it does take that back thinking that sort of fuller explanation and exposure to, to demonstrate that. It's impossible to do really with a six minute response to a six minute speech that then goes down to a five minute response in the format that is often preferred for these occasions. Uh, but before we go on to that, what do you make of the uh, advertising campaign on the Oxford buses, which of course is a, a reference to your own campaign. Um, there's probably no Dawkins uh, to stop worrying and enjoy the date on which he's, uh, William Lane Craig is appearing. I think it's a cheap shot, but it's a free country, and I hope that plenty of people do go along and refute him from the floor. I do find his arguments difficult to engage with.